Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some beetles that Waxkin Taxidermy sent us. Our colony first started off, we paid money for our beetles, for the current ones that we have. And then he went ahead and sent us this batch for free to show you guys how they show up, all the good stuff like that. Waxkin Taxidermy is letting us know that they are going to give our viewers a discount code. So if you go ahead, head over to their website that's in the description down below, you will get a 10% off code for your purchase of whichever amount of beetles that you'd like. Also, if you have any questions or comments how to keep beetles, raise them, all that stuff, how many you need for X, Y, or Z, go ahead, send them an email or leave it down in the comments below and we'll answer you as well. So to get started off, your box will come just like this. It will have little holes in it for, you know, so they can breathe, obviously. And then it will have live insects on the top, so it will show them that it is something that cannot be left outside if you're in a really cold or hot climate. So sometimes you have to pick it up from your post office, depending on your temperature and such. So the amount that he sent this time was 5,000 beetles, which is a really good starting colony. For instance, the one that you guys have seen in the previous videos are 2,500 each. So I actually started out with only 2,500 beetles, and now he just sent a total of 5,000, which will make our colony way, way bigger. So they'll come in the box, all nice and tidied up just like this. Sends his little card right here. Perfect. And then depending on the climate you're in, he'll also send them with a heat pack on the bottom to make sure that they stay warm and they don't die. So we'll set that stuff aside. His beetles come just like this. On the top, it just reads, before opening, please visually inspect the bugs. Make sure they're not dead, obviously, because if they're dead and you open the seal, then he can't have you return them because you could have just sent your own dead beetles back. So very easy to tell if they're alive or not. You can see a bunch of them moving around just like that. Makes it super easy to tell. And then this one as well, you can see a bunch more in this one. Just like that. So, both the colonies are good to go. I'm not worried about introducing them into the current colony because they came from him anyways, so they're all the same bugs. So we'll get them all opened up here. I will go ahead and switch your view over to the inside the freezer view. So I have already had my colony for quite a long time, you know, about month, two months I think now. So my 2500 have very much spread out into way more than that. So the amount of beetles that he sent will probably even double our amount that we currently have. So that will really make the skulls go way, way faster. We got the first one here. We'll dump right there so they can have some food if they want it. And then we got the second one right here. We'll toss these guys right over there. Make sure you get all the dust and stuff like that into the enclosure. That holds a lot of eggs and things like that. So it really does help your colony, keeps your generations going nice and strong. Anyways, I'll leave you guys on this for a little bit so you guys can see it, and we'll go from there. And here is a little footage of all those beetles getting out of that starting colony and getting introduced into ours. And if you guys need any beetles or anything like that, be sure to hit up that link in the description below and you'll be good to go. As always, enjoy the rest of the video.